What up? I see somebody stopped in already. Who we got in? Who stopped in already here? What up, what up? Hey! Getting ready to do a little airbrushing. Well, I gotta say it. Prep this mailbox and I'm gonna do some airbrushing on it. Run a little late, so I'm gonna clean up my workbench a little bit here before I start. Thanks for stopping in. Here. How are you doing today? Pop this up here. Mm -hmm. Jump. Not sure what I'm going to airbrush on this. Yeah, but uh, I might do a raffle on this or something once I airbrush it up. Not sure yet. I said I'm not even sure what I'm going to airbrush on it yet, but just an inexpensive mailbox. I'm just going to scuff it up with a gray sky spray pad. Start airbrushing on it. So. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do on it yet. Any uh, anybody got any ideas? Flames or something or I'm not sure. I thought maybe doing like the American flag on it and kind of have it, you know, waving and stuff like that. I don't know, maybe I'll do flames on one side and American flag on the other side or something. I don't know. But I don't think I need this on. Let me grab some scotch bright here real quick. Get scotch bright on that. So how's everybody doing today? I see I got a couple people in here. I'm just using a red sky or not a red gray sky sprite pad. It's gonna lightly scuff this mailbox. So it's got some tooth for the paint to stick. You can't see. You can't, really, you can't see what I'm doing there, can you? I'm putting you over here. I'm gonna shake the camera around too much. Just probably wipe this down with a pre-cleaner first. Stuff out of here. Thank you. So yeah, maybe we'll do that first. Wipe it down with something. Just to clean it real quick. Stand that up that way a little more. Let's see what I could do there. Real quick for you guys. Yeah, a little better. The duck a little bit from my face, but anyway. Uh, I already got some cleaner in here. This is. SX 100, I think. Wax and grease them over. I have right here. What's up, Black 85 Chevy? Thanks for stopping in. Traditional flames. You want to see some traditional flames? We can do that. I actually had somebody that wanted me to. Was asking about me doing some traditional flames on something. I don't remember what it was, but. Traditional flames in the true fire. Uh, I could probably do like a traditional flame and have like a true fire like behind it or something. Could probably manage to pull something like that off. Let me grab a paper towel to wipe this off real quick. I'll be right back.
Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do some tr uh, some traditional old school look at flame. Looks maybe like the true fire flame behind it in the background. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Probably have some rubber gloves on with this stuff. Try not to be in it too much. Safety first, safety first. This is not definitely not a how to video, so don't take it as a how to. Always wear gloves. Yeah, maybe we'll, maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do some old school flames on this with maybe some realistic looking flames in the background or something like that in the background. Yeah, who was it that suggested that? That was a pretty good idea. Black 85 Chevy suggested that. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. It's been a while. Been a while since I've done some traditional flames. I don't know if I have any in here that I can show. Uh, I can show you. Just give this a quick scuff down. How's everybody doing today? See, I got a couple more people to stop down. Should have a dust mask on right now too. What's up, Zoo Seventy Two Chevelle Rider? What's up, my man? You were doing a great job on that car, man. A lot of work, a lot of work going into that. That snow melting over there for you yet? All ours melted so much. Well, besides like stuff that's in the shade, it doesn't get any sun. Yeah, maybe we'll raffle this thing off or something when I get it finished up. Things all in my way here. Still have it on the ground. Now I gotta get to work on my Camaro over here. This thing needs so much work. It needs a tune up. I bought new front coil springs to put on it. Still gotta do that. What else do I need to do? Finish doing some body work on it. I'm sure this is probably like a powder coat that they put on this from the factory here. So let me just scuff it up good. And get ready to rock and roll. I'm not shaking the camera around too much for you. Yeah, we're gonna do some traditional traditional flames on this. Maybe put some realistic flames in the back of it. You know, coming this way with some old school flames, and then we'll do some realistic flames in the background. It's the plan anyway. So I want to thank everybody for stopping in, watching my nonsense that I put on YouTube. Uh, yeah, hopefully it'll turn out nice. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like a look like a fool here on YouTube. <laughs> Won't be the first time. I 
me. I bought this mailbox probably a year or so ago. I've been wanting to do something with it. Never really have the get up and go to get on it. So I figure if I do a live stream, I've pretty much got to do it. This thing scuffs. So get to the good stuff here. Yeah, might even take out the little dirt bike here. Should I get done doing this? Play around on that a little bit today. Nonsense. What? what? What's nonsense? I can't read the chat. I'm sorry, people. Nonsense. This is my reality TV. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I'll raffle this thing off after I'm done with it. If anybody would be interested in maybe getting into the raffle, raffle this thing off. Maybe do like a $5 raffle or something. Five bucks to get in on the raffle. I'll have to do like a, I'd have to do like a minimum. So many people if I decided to do that so I could cover shipping on it. But. You guys would be interested in maybe doing a raffle, getting in on a raffle or something. I'm going to paint some traditional flames on it, Gonzo. And I'll probably maybe do some realistic looking flames on it also. Maybe do like both of them on there. Maybe Black 85 Chevy says he's cool with the raffle the idea. Yeah. So if I get enough people that think. Like they might want to get into that, maybe we'll do a raffle on it. Probably should have had this thing prepped already. Up, oh, up, oh, losing people left and right. They're dropping. They're dropping off. Must be boring people already. Probably should have had this prepped already before I. Did, did the live stream. We'll see how funny I am. Yeah, like I said, if I did a, if I do it, it'll be like five bucks or something to get in. But I don't know. YouTube's getting kind of funny. I've heard from even like giveaways and stuff from what I've heard. Rules. I always got to have more rules and stuff. So, I'll have to actually have to look into it first to see what all the rules are on it. I really didn't even look into it when I was doing this bowling pin giveaway. And somebody was saying you got to put on a video or something all the rules and stuff. Hopefully that's not the case because I didn't. I just put it in just. Uh, description of the video. So, we'll see what YouTube says about it. I didn't think it was a big deal. You know, you're giving it away, giving stuff away. But I don't know. I always changing the rules. There's raffle guidelines and rules. Yeah. See, I'd have to look into it then. So. We'll have to look. Ooh, shaky cam. Well, I'll have to look into the rules and stuff on that. There's always got to be so many rules with everything. You can't just let people, you know, make a video and put it up anymore. But yeah, I cleaned this off with some wax and grease remover first. For anybody that cares. 
And I'm using a gray scotch brake just to scuff it up. So I'm giving it some tooth. And then we'll bust out the airbrush. I got a couple airbrushes here that I'm going to bust out probably. Government regulations mostly, Gonzo says. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. Government's got to get in on everything, you know. Worst thing we need is get them into our health care and stuff. Well, that's a whole different video right there. So, yeah. Let's get ready to this thing ready to paint. Should have did this before I started this video, but too late now. You're just gonna have to bear with me. You can see how I prep stuff, I guess. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Like I said, this isn't a how-to video. I'm not saying this is the right way, wrong way. This is just the way I'm doing it. To get it done. But we're all, I'm almost done scuffing this up. And then, and then we'll get the airbrush out. I shall get the tape out. Do some masking off some flames. And I don't think I've really done many flame licks that like overlap each other. Maybe we'll try some of that. Hope everybody's having a good day. It's finally starting to warm up over here a little bit. Rockford, Illinois. It's been cold lately. Alright, they are calling for some more snow though, like tomorrow or Thursday, I think. You would think winter would quit one of these days. Yeah, old school traditional flame. Maybe have a couple licks, flame licks that overlap each other. Let's see how disastrous that turns out. And uh, then we'll do some realistic flames in the back. So. I could bust out the flake and flake this thing out because I always like I always like the big flake stuff, but I got a gas tank that I did some red flake out of that I could play around on, do some stuff on. Mach 1 is in the house. What is up? Right there is a master artist at work. Ooh. Where is... He must not be watching the same video. <laughs> Where is he at? <laughs> I do appreciate it, though, Gary. I do appreciate it. I'm far from, far from a master or anything. But I do appreciate it. You know, if I would have stuck with this airbrush and more when I went to college for it, or when I was going to college for auto body and paint work, I wish I would have stuck with my airbrushing class that I had, but it got to be my last class out there at Kishwaukee College. And I was like, man, this kind of sucks driving a 45 minutes or so just to get to class for 45 minutes, and then I have to drive home another 45 minutes, so.
I ended up dropping that class, but wish I would have stuck with it. But thank God for YouTube, man, because I pick up a lot of a lot of good stuff on YouTube. What's up, Redneck Railroad? Thanks for stopping in. We're just going to uh, play around with this mailbox. Uh, Black 85 Chevy suggested that I do some traditional flames on it. So I think that's what I'm going to do on it. Do some traditional flames. Maybe do a little realistic flame or something in the background. So, just trying to finish up this little bit of scuffing on this thing real quick. It's probably good enough already for what I'm going to be doing with it. It's not like it's going to be sitting outside getting weathered or anything. So, thanks. What, whoa, shaky cam, shaky cab, cab, cam, camera. So yeah, let me grab my fine line tape. Mask off some flame licks on this thing and get some uh, get some paint flying. So I will be right back. Let me grab my tape. You don't film nothing. I probably film a lot that I should. <laughs> I'll be right back. I can grab some tape. That sucks. I think this might be all the fine line tape I have, which is quarter inch, which is going to be kind of tough for making my curves, but we'll try it. Might have some in the house, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. We'll try it with this quarter inch tape and see how it goes I guess. If it doesn't work I'll see if I have some eighth inch. Thought I had some eighth inch. I might have to run in the house real quick. See if I have some. This stuff is pretty thick to do a flame outline with. So, I do have some frisket paper, but I'm not really the greatest at cutting that frisket paper out on stuff without cutting too deep. So I should probably practice. Practice on that. This is probably a good thing to practice it on. But I don't want to keep everybody in suspense, waiting, trying to get this thing sprayed. So we'll try it with this tape. Try it anyway. See how it goes. It's all cold and stiff from being out here in the garage. Grab a razor blade, I'll be right back.
Yeah, I think uh, Etard Adventures is having a video coming up here pretty soon, live stream. Somebody else was having a live stream coming up here. What's going on here in, in the chat? Oh, plastic town kids and complaining that this was hurting their wrists. This one they hit to my bats. What? what are you guys talking about over here in the chat? Metal boxes are getting. Oh! Oh, metal mailboxes from the kids smashing them. <laughs> I never did that when I was a kid. You know, because that'd be wrong. It would be so wrong. Don't do that, kids. For this, for being a new razor blade that I thought was a new razor blade, it don't look too nice. You didn't get the notification. Yeah, you know, I tried to. I try to uh, do it on my computer, on my laptop, to set up the the thing to do the live stream, and then I jump on my phone. Usually now, because it's easier to do it, and I can carry it around easier. And I think it takes a better video. So I don't know if it's because I do that or what. And actually, I try to go live on the computer earlier. And when I go to hit the live thing, it's not doing anything, so I'm not sure what's going on with it. So maybe I'm just going to start doing it all through the phone and see how that works. But anyway, let's try to get some flames taped off on this thing. Gotta figure out, trying to eyeball in my head how big to put the flames on this thing. wonder if I can get this... If I can take this door off of this mailbox. No, looks like they riveted it on there. Okay. So much for taking a door off. Alright, that answers that question. So this needs to be stuffed a little bit better over here. Yeah, I don't know how well this is going to work with the quarter inch fine line tape. That's not really that fine. But I'm going to try it. Try it and see. Try it and see. I wish I had another spot where I could put you so you could see how I'm doing this here. But. Been a while since I've done some flames. Yeah, this is it's pretty thick. Pretty thick tape to try to get these tight corners with here, so. Let's do what we can with what we got here. I'm sorry, you can't see what I'm really doing right now. This is not 
not the best tape to try to do for the outlines of these flames, but Anyway, I suppose I'll show you what I got going on so far. You tell me. Thumbs up, thumbs down. And let me know if you think that looks halfway decent so far. Like I said, I haven't done any realistic flames in a while, so. And I would normally do this with a thinner tape. It's getting really, it's really hard. You can see how it's really wrinkling up the tape up here. Trying to get this tight corner with this thick tape. So, actually, I should run in, should run in the house real quick, see if I got any thinner stuff. But we'll try to manage with this stuff here. Just freehand that shit. <laughs> yeah, there's really no other way to do it, you know. So let me uh. Let me see if I can do it from this way. Try to set it. I really can't. I'm just gonna have to wait a second here because it's kind of hard to kind of hard to do it and have the camera where you can see what's going on and everything. This part right here is just so tough because this tape is so thick. It's really not doing what I want it to do. I think I'm going to try to make this one go over the other flame lick because I don't think I've can't remember doing any flames where they cross over like that, so cross a lick over here and see see if I can pull it off or not. See, I don't like that right there either. It'd be so much easier with some thinner tape. So much easier. So I'm just trying to throw some flame licks down real quick. I'm not trying to really make them you know, look the same on one side to the other side or anything like that. Just trying to throw something down real quick. Like I said, this isn't the right tape to really be doing these flame licks with. Really should be using eighth inch for this, but this is all I have in the garage at least right now. So that's what I'm running with. Trying to do it this way, maybe. Let's see. You know what, we'll make this 
We'll make this lick run over this one too. Make that lick go over that one. I really messed myself up, so I don't know where I'm at or what I'm doing. flip this box over here. Bear with me, folks. I don't mean to not let you see what's going on here, but... This tape is really, really fighting me. Give you more room, yeah. Like I said, this is quarter inch I'm using here. This is not what I normally use to do my flame licks with. I probably have some around here somewhere, maybe, but you know, once you start that live stream, people are watching, they want to see the action, they don't want to see you running around looking for stuff, so I'm just winging this, just winging it. See if I do a nice long loop like that, that worked out pretty nice. But yeah, it's hard to uh, hard to get those tight curves with this tape, that's for sure. Well, this is what we got so far for just a quick little five minute tape job of some flames. That's to one side. And that's the other. Got a couple that kind of lick around each other. So now I gotta decide on which ones, I, you know, which one, which flame I want to have on top, because that's gonna determine on which parts are cut out and all that good stuff. And then I gotta actually remember how to do it. Because actually, I don't even think I've done flame licks that really cross over each other before. I've seen it done. I just gotta remember how it's done. <laughs> so. Well, this is why I try to practice here and there before like even if I was going to do this on somebody's bike or something or whatever I was going to do it on say somebody was wanting to pay me to do this on their mailbox or their motorcycle or something I would probably do a test panel for them and me just so I know how it's going to go and they can see how it's going to look um, I've done that with a few different jobs that I've done. So that way the customer can see what they're gonna get, and then it can be like, I don't like it, or change this, change that, whatever. So, all right, let me think about which flame lick I want to go over what. See, I'm, I'm confusing myself already just looking at it. Just looking at it, confusing myself. 
So I really don't like it. See, now that I'm looking at it, see, I don't like how these two come together and then they're so tight right here. I don't like that. I might have to change that up. No, this is my mailbox. I didn't steal it from the neighbors. I bought it just, just for this, just to mess around with. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Think I should change that lick right there? I don't really care for that. I think it looks like a pair of scissors or something. Yeah, okay, I'm changing it. Yeah, we'll change it because I don't like the looks of that. Don't like the looks of it. Really doesn't help that it's like freaking 42 degrees or something in my garage right now. I'm trying to do this. I don't think I'm going to have that lick cross. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. I think that looks a little better. We'll just have the one, we'll just have that one like cross over that way if I F it up, it ain't going to be so noticeable. Keep it clean folks, keep, try to keep it clean, try to keep it clean. Might be ladies in the room, I don't know. Oh. All right, so what do you guys think? Oh man, it's all good. I just don't want to, you know, offend any ladies if they're in the room or anything like that, so. Good as always. Right on, right on, right on. All right, now I just gotta figure out which lick I wanna have on top. which I think I'm going to have this bigger one on top. So, I could have basically just ran that and stopped right there, but no one. Anyway, I'll cut this, cut this one off. Try to. Thought this was a good razor blade. Like I said, it's like 42 degrees in here, so it's not helping this tape. Stiff. I think this razor blade I grabbed a piece of turd. At least that ain't helping my cause. <sighs> so, cut that piece off. Cut this piece out. What I'm doing now is I'm just cutting out the tape. Oops, I hope I didn't go too far. I'm cutting off the tape that goes across the other flame wick. And I'll be 
Let's see. I cut that tape off. This piece of tape, actually there's two pieces of tape that ran across this flame lick. Because this flame I want on top. Actually, I did it ass backwards. Okay, this flame is going to end up on top. I think. But anyway. Yeah. You see what I'm saying. <laughs> you get the drift of what I'm saying there. Showing you how to do it wrong. I'm showing you the wrong way how to do it. I just messed up. All right. I think I need to cut that out too. I believe I need to cut some more tape out. I could be wrong. Like I said, I don't usually run my flame licks over one another. So this is basically a first for me. Can't paint so it looks good to you. Need the box flat black and metal flake to flames. Mm. That would look cool too. That would look cool. Hmm. Now you got me thinking. I always love the flake stuff. I always like the flake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see now I don't know I don't even know if I wanna have a flame like crossover one now because it's gonna make me have to think more. I'm just trying to do this up. Why not? I have to think about it too much. Chopper's rule one is in the house. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for stopping in. Just trying to do some flames on this mailbox. Trying to mask it off and get it ready. And I'm debating on if I want to keep this flame lick that goes across the other flame lick. Or if I want to change it and just do it the easy way. But I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I need to figure it out real quick though. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep that flame like going over the other one. And if I do it wrong, then this will be a how not to flame out your mailbox or whatever. How not to do a flame job, I guess. <laughs> he didn't break my groove, man. It's all good. It's all good. I, I'm the one that breaks my own groove. But yeah, I think. Yeah, we'll just run with it. We'll run with it. And then if it don't turn out like I wanted it to, it didn't turn out like I wanted it. See, this tape is really not wanting to cooperate because it's so cold. Yeah. Okay. All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm changing my mind on that because this tape is not wanting to work right. It's giving me grief. So, I'm going to fix this little bit of flame lit here that I just messed up piece of tape. And we're not going to have any flame licks that overlap just because heat gun, yeah. I could probably throw some heat in here but then my garage is going to get noisy from the heater that I have. So, and Actually I could probably be doing all this in my house which would have made a little more sense. But. Anyway, I don't think about stuff, man. Sometimes when I do it, I just kind of do it on the fly. So, I'm going to change 
a flame lick or two real quick over here. Bear with me. Probably boring folks now. Changing everything up. But I didn't like how that was looking and going and whatnot. So. Change it a little bit, and then we'll be good. Try to try to change it up and have it still look alright. with that one. Oh, that right my chair is a little funky. I got a funky spot over here I don't like because it's got like a flat spot of it. looking flame there but they don't have to be perfect you know a flame lick's a flame lick right so after changing it up a little bit that's basically what we got now I don't have any flame licks that overlap one another to make it a little easier and quicker for me on this video because I don't want to bore anybody bore people to death do that enough already so, I'm going to run and grab some, uh, I think I'm going to do this with some frisket paper and just lay it over it and then cut it out where the flame is instead of using tape on everything because it will go a little quicker. So, I'm going to grab that real quick. This is the airbrushes I'm going to use. One's a Badger Anthem right here. The other one is a uh, Awada, I believe. HPC, I think it is. HPCS, which have been neglected. Always clean your airbrushes when you're done. Unlike me, I just, you know, I abuse my equipment, man. It's not good. My gun's still. Got stuff in it from when I sprayed them rims. Well, maybe. Barely. A little bit of wash thinner in there, which you probably shouldn't leave in your gun because uh, I believe they put a little bit of water in that wash thinner. Believe it or not, I think there's water in that stuff. I don't know if it says it on there or not, but I think there is. Wish I lived closer to you, mate. Yeah, we got to paint my fire truck man I would you know I would be more than happy to paint something like that I paint some of the big stuff here and there once in a while so let me go in the house grab this frisket paper look no more snow on the ground nice it's about time there's still a little bit in the Spots where the sun doesn't get yet, but anyway, 
grab this frisket paper. You know, if I looked in here, I'd probably find some fine line tape or something. It wouldn't surprise me. I'd be like, oh, there's my fine line tape. Uh, but yeah. Anyway. Uh, that's what we're looking for right now. Frisket paper. I bought this probably, I can't tell you how many years ago because, you know, had to have it. It'll make my life easier. I think I used it on one paint job so far that I've done. <laughs> and that was the uh, water droplet paint job I did. If you look back, I think this is actually the video that pops up. It's a red sportster. I did a water droplet on. I use this to do the number 13 on the side cover and uh, top of the tank. Oops. And the top of the tank where the uh, spade was. This is what I use. And uh, the way I did it on that is because I'm not real confident with the razor blade on cutting on paint and stuff so I cut it out on this and then I laid it on the tank kind of cheated so I did it anyway but uh yeah we'll get some of this over here and then we'll cut it out with the razor blade make it a little bit easier a little bit quicker Try not to wrinkle it up too much as I wrinkle it all up. And try not to have this stuff touch each other, you know what I'm saying, the pieces once you pull it apart because it's like you mess it all up. So anyway. Down, sex us off down here real quick. Piece up here. Somebody taking off. See you later, whoever it was that was leaving. Was it Chopper's leave? Chopper's rule? Was that who was leaving? Hey, have a good one, man. Thanks for stopping in. If that's who was leaving. I know I'm probably boring people, but this is a live stream. This is unedited. So, raw. So. Yeah, see. See, this is irritating. See that? Yeah, yeah. It just keeps ripping. Just keep ripping. Yeah. Talk about it touched right there. Don't want to touch it. So. Try to catch up on the chat here if anybody's asking any questions or anything. Let's see what's up with the chat. Chopper's Rules is leaving. Hazy Days is in the house. What's up, Mr. Rockstar? Hazy Days. That man can play some guitar. That man can sing. If you haven't checked out Hazy Days, go check him out. Go check him out. Cooter's in the house. Chopper's rule says not me, I'm still here. Uh, yeah, this stuff is not working out.
this is a frisket paper. I guess it's not like cold weather. A lot more wrinkles and stuff in here than I was about to get, but oh well. This is what it is. So now, I think it's gonna probably mess this whole thing up by trying to cut this other piece off. I didn't cut through both of those layers. The brisket papers and stuff is pretty thin. Just to find out. Anyway, next I'm going to cut this out with a razor blade. And I think what I'm going to do, just because my eyes aren't the best anymore, is I'm going to go over that with like a crayon or something, just so I can see it a little better. Stuff's really not sticking, sticking down the way I want it to, which kind of sucks. Like I said, it's like 42 degrees. Something like 42 degrees or something like that in the garage, so it's not, not helping my cause out with this stuff at all. Yeah, let me grab a, let me grab a crayon or something to go over this with. Pencil or something, so I can see where I'm cutting. So I'm cutting the wrong stuff. Your head, folks. Show you what I'm gonna do with this crayon so I can see what I'm doing. Side of it out here. Sorry, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I'm just gonna take the side of this, go over this. Just like so, so I can see my claims. Where I gotta cut out. See how that leaves the outline. And that way I can see where to where I want to uh, cut it out at. So if you don't know that little trick, now you do. you can see what's going on here. And there you go. And that way you can see what you got going on.
basically I'm probably boring you to death. Now I'm just cutting out, cutting out my flame lick. So I'm gonna continue cutting that out and boring you while I'm cutting that out. I'll try to do it as fast as I can without messing anything up. Try to read any. I'll try to catch any comments or questions here. Not boring? Alright, I'm not trying to make it boring or anything. Somebody said something about dinner. I'm gonna wait to eat dinner. Notice you live. Wanna say hi and we'll leave live stream live stream playing and watch replay later. Well thank you. Camaro time, I appreciate that. I I need the uh, I need the view time. <laughs> if I ever wanna try to monetize my videos. I got a long way to go. Long way to go. Definitely appreciate everybody that watches my videos. I can't say it enough. You guys actually motivate me to get out here and kind of do this kind of stuff because I'll think about it all day long. Like, man, I should get out of the garage and airbrush something. I should this or that. So you guys kind of help motivate me. So thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah, I gotta figure out exactly how I'm gonna spray these flames, what I wanna use as for uh, colors and whatnot. I hope I'm on the tape, folks. Otherwise, we're gonna, it's not going to be good. Otherwise, it's not going to be good. See, I think I, went, I think I went too far. I almost went too far right there. Yeah, the goal is to push down hard enough, cut the frisket paper, and not cut the tape that the frisket paper is on. Some people can just cut that stuff like, like nothing. Me, I don't really use this stuff a whole lot, so... cold out. I'm using the excuse again that it's cold out and uh, doesn't want to cooperate with me. I got a buddy that's got an excuse for everything. That man has got more excuses. He's probably watching right now. And if you're watching Lane, I'm busting you out. You got more excuses than any man. <laughs> I know. 
If I ever need an excuse, I'm going to call my buddy Lane up. <laughs> Be like, hey, Lane, I need an excuse. <laughs> He's got one. He's got him. So, yeah, I had to bust my buddy out. He's probably loving me right now. Sorry, Lane, I had to bust you out. I had to bust you out on the live stream. So, yeah, we'll get this cut off here. Try to without it taking all day. This is a quicker way of doing it than if you were gonna use just tape and tape it all off. You could do it that way. I just uh, think this is quicker. Quicker way of doing it. Lost the sound. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Can you guys hear me? Somebody said they lost the sound. You can't hear me. I hope you guys can hear me. I hope I didn't hit a button or something. You can hear me okay? Everybody can hear me? Okay. Yeah, I probably should have got this thing all ready and prepped. But I wasn't even sure what I was going to do on this mailbox. So, anyway, this is what we're getting so far. So, I'm trying to get this rest of this cut out. So, it's not going to take all night to watch somebody cut some flames out. This one up here. I almost cringe when I hear this from the razor blade cutting through that because don't want to go too far yet you want to go far enough Thank everybody that's entered into my giveaway for the bowling pins. Everybody that's done a BR on it, taking the time out of their day to do a video response. I definitely appreciate it. Definitely appreciate it. Pull a little more of this tape, paper off here. Yeah, I want to thank every one of you for stopping in, watching my videos, watching my live streams. I know some of them are boring. It's all get out. So, you gonna win that pen? Somebody's gonna win that pen. I know that for sure. I need to uh, need to figure out how I'm gonna do the giveaway. I'm not sure if I'm just gonna put all the numbers in a in like my hat and pull one out. I'm gonna do that yet. 
got to figure it out. I got to get those. I got to get a base made for the bottoms of those pins yet. I'm always wait until the last minute. Why well, procrastinate? What you can do tomorrow when you can pro procrastinate what you're going to do today, right? My mom's got me nicknamed as Mr. I'm a gonna. Yeah, Mr. I'm a gonna. Yeah, Mr. I'm a gonna. Probably be on my tombstone. Here lays such and such. He was gonna. He was gonna. boring everybody to death watching me do this. I'm so sorry, folks. Trying to do it as quick as I can. Going as fast as I can. As fast as I can. Put that Flame like I did. <laughs> yeah, a couple more to go, folks, and then we'll be able to get into the fun stuff. If I don't mess this up beforehand. So far I think I'm doing okay. So far. Probably shouldn't talk if I end up jinxing myself. See, I don't mean to bore you folks me cutting these flames out. I'm really not trying to bore you. I'm almost done. Just got one more little lick cut out here. On this side. Should be good. Back on track here in a second. Let's see. Get this up so you can see the action happening here. would probably work a lot better if it wasn't so cold in my garage right now. It's pretty cold in here. I think it's like 42, 43 degrees in my garage right now. So it's a little chilly. A little chilly. Make sure I don't have nothing going over my flame lick. Peel up. Mm -hmm. 
forget to cut that piece or something. Or not. Back in business, just about. All right. So, after cutting all that out and boring everybody to death, we pretty much have our flame lit. Flame looks masked off and ready for some paint. And I'm probably gonna bore you guys a little more. And like over here, see where that's not really, some of this isn't really sticking down too well. Probably gonna take some tape and go over that stuff. So I'm probably gonna bore you folks a little bit more for a little bit longer. Before we get some paint flying, so let's do that real quick. Get some paint or uh, get some tape, I should say. I'm do it to tape. I lost my tape. I lost my tape. I lost my mind. Alright, so now I got another question for you guys. What colors and whatnots should I do the flames in? Somebody said I should flake them out. Any other any other ideas? Should I do it just old school white, yellow, and red? You know, should I airbrush something in it? Um, should I just ghost flame them? Yellow, red, yellow, red, and white. Chopper's rule says yellow, red, and white. One vote for yellow, red, and white. I got a vote for ghost flames. Somebody said something about flakes. So, okay, we got two for ghost flames, three for ghost flames now. We could do some ghost flames on it. Oh, I always like ghost flames. Okay. Um, what color ghost flames I've got? Let me grab some, uh, let me show you what I got for some pearls. Um, I might have a little bit of white, white paint. It's got some pearl. I've got, got some of this red pearl. It's got like a red hue to it. I've got, what else do I have? I think the rest of the pearl stuff that I have is in the house right now. I've got this flake would look mighty nice over that black. Vintage, this is a vintage flake, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I got I got a whole little box of flakes down here and different stuff. I don't want to give the names out and get copyright issues and stuff. But, uh, yeah. This is the flake that I used on my guitar. A little rainbow flake. But yeah, I got a bunch of different flakes. Uh, but yeah, maybe we'll just do a ghost flame job. Flake like boat paint. Poplar up there. Man, I've always digged a flake. I've always liked like the old low rider paint jobs. You know, they got all the different designs and they got the lace and they got the fish scale look in there and everything, man. I've just always thought that was just so badass. But yeah, maybe we'll do this. A little uh, red with pearl. 
red pearl. And we'll do some... Uh, Oh, we got another person. We got a couple votes for old school, traditional. Hmm. Hmm. What to do? What to do? What to do? This is going to be a tough one. I got to make a call here. Do we do it old school or uh, ghost? Old school or ghost flames? Traditional? Or ghost flame. I know there was a few in here that said old school, old school, old school. Okay. So what would show up better in highlights? Ghost or big flakes? What would show up for highlights? Is that what you're asking me? What would show up better in highlights? Ghost or big flake? Highlights, if you were just wanting to highlight something at night. Hmm, I would probably a reflector. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a good one. I would say probably probably a pearl. Would probably show up more on with like street lights and that kind of stuff at night. Um, if you didn't want to be real loud, like you know, if you wanted it to be screaming loud, I would say go with the flake. Um, if you wanted it to be more um, not so loud, I guess you would say I would uh, use the pearl. Uh, Okay, I think we got more votes for the old traditional style flame. So we'll do white, yellow, and red. Then I got to remember which way that goes with the flame color on it. I believe it goes white in the front, yellow, and then red tips. Is that right? White, yellow, then red tip. It's been a while. I have to look. I almost have to look at the old flame job to see. Just do it. I'm a gonna. Oh, you sound like my mother. You sound like my mother. Just do it. Either white, yellow, red, or red. Red, yellow, white. Red, yellow, white. Red, yellow, white. Okay. All right. We'll figure that out. We'll just uh, do it to it. Okay, let me get a couple of these spots covered up here with some tape real quick, and then we'll rock and roll some color on this thing, start getting some stuff down here. Either white, yellow, red, or red, yellow, white. Red, yellow, white tips. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll go red in the front yellow and then white tips on there i'm such a slow reader here trying to read these comments i think yellow seems anyhow seems all that i've ever seen went from dark color to lighter or opposite dark color to lighter all right well that's how we're gonna do it we're gonna go darker to lighter it's gonna be red yellow and then white white in front is hotter okay all right well i'm just gonna spray all of them white and then we'll figure out which way we're gonna go from there <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, we'll just do that because then that way I can figure out if I want to go white in the front or white in the back. You guys can figure it out for me if you want. Have a vote on it again, I guess. Majority, majority rules. Let it rip, tater chip. 
Oh, 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 oh. Missing, missing the chat here. Then blue, red. Then blue, red, orange, and yellow. Blue, red, orange, and yellow. Not trying to hide from you, I'm just doing a little taping. Just a little taping. And making sure that the tape's going to stay down or the frisky paper's going to stay down. We don't have any uh, paint where we don't want to have paint. So just a, another precautionary measure. Like I said, I'm not really doing this with all the right stuff. Well, I mean, I sort of am, but if I would have had an eighth inch tape to do these flame licks, would have made it a lot easier. So. If you guys want to bail and come back after I get this done, I don't blame you. After I get all this mask and done, don't don't feel like you got to sit here and watch me mask. You won't hurt my feelings if you come back. If I bore you. We're almost ready to start spraying some paint here. Another five minutes or so. Get this these bottom of the flame links done here where this tape is wrinkling up. I'm trying to do it quick. White base, yep. Yeah, plus the white base will give everything a nice even color to go over instead of the black. So it should help out a little bit. But yeah, if you're just tuning in, I'm going to do some flame licks or uh, some old school flames on this toolbox. I don't know why I just said it was toolbox. It's not a toolbox, it's a mailbox. So yeah, I think I've got some yellow paint. I'm going to make sure i got all the colors here that we need to do the old school, old school uh, flames here. More first good paper needs to be cut. Yep, I'm pretty sure I just cut down into my tape. My fine line tape, which I'm hoping I didn't cut through it. Alright, I got three more spots that I want to put a little tape on, and then we'll get some paint. Paint the gun. Have a little fun, some paint. Next time I do something like this, I will try to get everything pretty much set up. 
like all this stuff, have all this stuff done. Like have all this masked off and everything next time. And then that way we can just get right into it. Keep people a little more uh, interested in the video instead of watching the whole process from start to finish. Because that's kind of asking a lot, I think, for people. Stick around that long. But I do appreciate you if you do stick around that long. And then, uh, I don't know, maybe if I get to boring people too much, we could always bring start this up later. But I'm going to try to knock it out. Try to knock it out. Uh, One more, one more flame lick to take care of here. I think we're good to go. Do something like that. A couple little spots I gotta take care of, but then we'll be good to go. Ladies and people, people are leaving. Hit the like button just watching. Glad you're going to use a white base coat. Hit the like button even if you are just watching. Our freehand skulls and such. Yeah, skulls are always cool. Might, uh, we might do that on the other part of the mailbox. Maybe just keep the keep the flame lick or the flames itself here, just old school traditional style, and then uh, maybe where everything else is masked off, maybe we'll do add some stuff like that in the background. I know somebody was saying do like the old school flame and then do like the realistic look of flame behind it. Maybe we'll do maybe we'll do some of that too. Oh, I just seen this one. So yeah, there's all kinds of options we can do here. So, anyway, I think we're pretty good. I gotta mask this off over here yet. I'm just gonna get that open. Leave that open. I'm gonna mask off the back of that yet. So I'm just gonna use some masking paper. That makes this soft a little bit. Yeah, I know uh, Etard Adventures was doing a live stream here. I was kind of wanting to check that video out, live stream out, but I got this going on. Little doggy in the house. What's up, high five? Little doggy. What's up, my man? Make sure you get into the bowling pin giveaway I'm doing, little doggy. You got till Friday. It's uh, go to a couple of my older videos. Go to enter here. Is the name of it? It was like a live stream I did. Go in there to that video, say you want in on a bowling pin, and that'll get you one entry. If you do a video response and have it in by Friday, that'll get you five entries total for the bowling pins that I did. I did some airbrushing, uh, the true fire flame look on them. So if you're interested in winning a bowling pin, go check it out. Got till Friday to enter. I should have brought one of them out here. Got pickings getting slimmer. Yeah. <laughs> Shout you out, but I've got like two bowling pins 
closed me off already. What? What are you saying there? Closed me off already. Those are some badass cheap I playing. So right on, man. Right on. If you got bowling pins or whatever already and stuff, man, that's cool. It's all good, man. It's all good, little doggy. I uh, definitely appreciate the appreciate the. Uh, I can't even think of the word now. Compliment. Dig your videos, man. I try to watch them every morning. Trophies, <laughs> trophies from your bowling days. All oh, right, on, right on. I think my best game was like a two thirty something, and that was after I dropped a bowling ball on my foot when I was a kid, and then I bowled like a two thirty. Yeah, man. Go check out Little Doggy, everybody. If you haven't checked out Little Doggy, does great videos over there. Great videos. Good guy, good guy over there. All my subscribers rock. I got the greatest subscribers, man, I swear. They are awesome. So many good people. Little doggy. Black 85 Chevy says little doggy videos get my day jumped off right. Yep. I try to catch him every morning. Little doggy says he wants to learn how to paint better. Well, I tell you what, little doggy. You go over and watch, like, Shut Your Face Garage. That guy can paint. You go over and watch uh, The Gunman. That dude. Makes me look like I don't know what I'm doing. That man can paint. Woo, man, that dude can paint. I think he's over. I think he's over across the pond. You watch him. You watch him too already. Oh, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. That dude can paint. He makes me look like I don't even know what I'm doing. I would like to, if I was close to that guy, I'd like to go over there and have him show me how it's done, you know what I'm saying? Because that dude gets it done. Yeah, Greg Porter ain't no slouch either. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there, man. A lot of them. Shoot, even like Tommy Shoe, man. That dude, I don't think he's ever worked in a body shop or nothing in his life. And that dude puts some paint down. Puts it down. Yeah, a lot of good painters out there, man. A lot of good painters. Yep, Greg's Garage. Yep. A lot of them out there. Who else is out there? Uh, what is it? Uh, Velvet, Velvet Hammer, I think it is. If I'm saying it right. He does some good paint work. A lot of, a lot of them out there. Sprayway Customs, yep, yep. So many, so many good people out there that throw the paint down. Yeah, I just do what I can. I try to do a good job. And, uh, stuff like that. Alright, I need some wider tape. I'll be right back. The wider tape is right here in front of me. Must be getting blind. Must be getting blind. Alright, I think I missed a couple comments here. Tommy Shoe works hard for his money. Yeah, he does. I wish I had half the motivation that Tommy Shoe guy's got, man, because he gets out there and gets it done. Me, I'm a slacker. I still like to slack a lot. Sad but true. I don't, I don't know. I don't try to be a slacker, but I find myself slacking. I got that sleep apnea stuff, which isn't an excuse, but I don't think that helps me out with my motivation. The master of runs. No, I'm the master of runs. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it twisted, man. You just don't see all the runs that I take care of on these big semis and stuff. Because I usually don't show it. <laughs> you can watch them all the way to the floor. Yeah, we all can, man. Everybody gets runs. 
I look at it this way. If you ain't running it, you ain't getting enough paint on it. I would rather have to deal with a couple runs and have to wet sand a couple runs out and have some super dry, ugly looking orange peel on everything. You know. And although I think uh, I think once you get a run in it, even if you wet sand it out, you can still faintly see it. <laughs> yeah. I'm good at doing stuff two, three times over sometimes, little doggy. Try not to do that, though, because uh, you ain't making no profit if you're doing stuff two, three times over. But anyway, I think we're just about ready to ready to go here. Yeah, a lot of great people on YouTube, man. So many great people. So many great channels. I can't even think of them all. But yeah, Tommy Shoe's great. I like watching his videos. Um, so many of them. Fab Project Series. I know my channel's done three times. <laughs> Yeah, I know how it is doing stuff over again. All right, I'm gonna try not to get too carried away on this little thing here. Every time I look at something, I'm like, oh, that could use some tape. Oh, that could use some tape. I'm going to end up retaping this whole thing. It's not what I'm trying to do. Yeah, love little doggy videos, man. Love your videos. I like Cab 7 videos. If you guys don't know who Cab 7 is, I'm sure everybody probably already knows Cab 7. But Cab 7 rocks. Uh, who else? Dark Matter rocks. So many of them out there. Captain Jerk. Um, man, so many of them. But yeah, I think I'm about done messing around with this tape. Mr. Fireman is in here. What? Mr. Fireman's in here? Yeah, Mr. Fireman, uh, what's, there's a couple of them, Mr. Fireman, was it Mr. Fireman 164, I think, that's the right one I'm thinking of, he's working on a Camaro right now, and he's doing, I think that's right, Fireman, Mr. Fireman 164, doing a Camaro up right now, I mean, he's like, full, total restoration, on that sucker. Doing it all in his garage too, man. It's like, wow. I've done a lot of cars in my days, but I've never done one to that extreme. Yeah, Musty One has some cool stuff. So many, so many good YouTubers out there. That would take me hours to name them all. Huh? I can't even think of them all, but yeah, there's a lot of them. MBYR31, Matt, he rocks. Friday Night 40s, go check him out. He's a good dude. But yeah, alright, I think we're pretty much ready to rock. Cover up this door here a little bit. Yeah, we do have a badass community, little doggy. We do. Love the I love the YouTube community. I love it. They actually motivate me to do this kind of stuff because this thing's been sitting in my house for like a year. Look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, I should I should paint that up. I should bust my airbrush out. And it sits there and it sits there. But yeah, I love my YouTube community. You guys rock. All of you. Use 
paper off the roll over here. Need to get this sucker. Need to get that bad boy done up. I actually started doing a little work on it. Where they had the, uh, I don't know if you can see it. But they had the chrome strip for like a, what would be up here. They had it down here. I don't know why they would have it way down there. It's not going to stop you from getting a door ding when somebody opens up your door. So, whoever put that on the car, if you're watching, what were you thinking? Anyway, I'm going to finish messing off this front of this door here and then we'll uh, get some white in the gun. Get some white sprayed on here. Get some other, get some other color sprayed on. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. But yeah, I can't believe little doggy stopped in here to say hey and check check me out, man. I feel privileged. I feel like somebody. A big time right here. Yeah, I feel honored, man, having any of you guys watching my videos, to tell you the truth, man. I appreciate every one of you. I can't believe I got over a thousand subscribers now. It just blows my mind. It's like, thousand people. Blows me away. Then you see some people on YouTube, they got like 265,000 subscribers. And it's like, wow. You know, I know I'll never be that big on YouTube. Not that I want to be that big. Cause, you know, it's less personal when you get that big, I think. Not that I know. but Yeah. Love my YouTubers. Love you guys. Guys and gals. I don't know if you guys watch uh, Shalisa. Uh, dang, I can't think of her last name, but she just went through like liver surgery or some kind of surgery. She's doing good now. So. That rocks. Shalisa. Shalisa. She. Shali or something like that. Just like a bush bush crafter, outdoorsy kind of chick. She does some good videos. We're into that outdoor stuff. But yeah, all right. I think we're pretty much good to go on this. So I do have a little bit of white. I know. Of. Wipe this down again with some pre cleaner first. Wipe this down again. So got some of that wax crayon on here. It's probably going to mess me up when I go to spray my paint. Starts fish eyeing or anything over here in this spot. Right in here. We'll know why. Wax. Wax. Wipe it down again. Good. We'll be ready to spray some paint. But yeah. Thanks everybody for stopping in, taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. I definitely appreciate it. All right. We're ready to throw some paint down on this mailbox. Start putting some flames on it. 
see what we got going on so far. If anybody's just just joining us, we we'll do some old traditional style, old school flames on this mailbox. I'm gonna go with white, yellow, and red, and then we might after that's done. We might bask, back mask these flames and then do some other stuff on the other side. Time allows. Or we might just uh, throw some mid coat clear on it and then come back tomorrow on it and do something. Etard Adventures in the house. I figured you were doing your live stream. When you start your live stream, I don't want to miss it. <laughs> Etard Adventures is in the house. If you haven't checked Etard Adventures out, go check them out. Great guy, great guy. If you're into like little pit bikes and go kart builds and that kind of stuff, you would definitely like Etard Adventure. Nine o'clock from the stunt spot. We're trying to get ready now. Right on, right on, man. Yeah, go check out Etard Adventures. I'm still waiting on my sticker. You did send it, right? Mr. Etard. I know. Snail mail. Snail mail. I know how that is. I just ordered a... <laughs> yes, sir, he says. I just ordered my... Uh, my car up my butt. Just ordered my air filter for the little XR80. So, I'm hoping that gets here pretty quick. Like last week, you sent them out. Well, I should be getting them any day. Then I'll probably get them tomorrow. Then, and then I will get you some sent out in the mail too. Oh, speaking of, I'll show you the dust mask that I like to use, Mr. Etard, because I don't like not being able to breathe. I used to smoke cigarettes like a pack a day for. I don't know. I think I started when I was like fourteen or something stupid. But these are the ones that I like to use. They got this little deal in the front. But these things, man, a lot easier to breathe out of. You know what I'm saying? Because it's almost like a little respirator deal. Yeah, you got some. I recommend these. They're a little bit more money. But I like them. But yeah, we'll probably use the, this gun here to spray the Spray the stuff. It's my Techna gun. I don't even know if I can say the brand and all that stuff. YouTube being all crazy now. Getting all rule, rules all crazy, you know. But yeah, I'm so ready to bust this thing out. Do some wheelies. Do some wheelies. I'm going to have to do some wheelies later. They're really tired. I was going to do that earlier, but then I was like, oh, I got this live stream I was got to do. So. Okay, Let's see, my OCD's getting ADHD or whatever is getting a hold of me here. But this is the paint I'm going to use. It's Deltron white. There should be enough left in there. Maybe it's thinned down a little bit more than it needs to be thinned down. But yeah, let me get some paint and a gun here real quick. Try to get you set up over here where you're not going to fall. Get a little paint mixed up in my gun here and we'll get some paint shot on this thing. Try not to show no labels. Try not to show any labels. Don't show no labels. Guitar Adventures, go check them out. That new rocks and bubba bubsification. I think I got it down now, right? Bubsification. Am I saying it right? Etard bubs bubsification. <laughs> Wish I could ride my Yamaha BW two hundred. How come you can't ride it? What's going on? You hurt yourself or it bite down or something there, Gonzo? Don't have much white paint left. I'm gonna have to get some more. Probably use use my uh, paint that I use for airbrushing for this mailbox. But 
all the full used automotive stuff. Alright, let's paint the gun here. Hopefully that's enough. There's not really much much white paint left in here I'm hoping I'm hoping that's enough there's probably oh no maybe an ounce and a half maybe two ounces of paint if that in there Ooh. seven now it needs to be you all gonzo's disabled Sorry to hear that. For your grandson, he's seven. He needs to be a bit bigger. Yeah. Yeah. I would say let him grow up a little bit more if we throw him on that. <laughs> oh, man. I hope we got enough white. That's not looking good. That is not looking good. Well, maybe we're going to do, since I don't have much white paint left, I think I'm going to do white tips. And then, well, basically it's going to go red from the beginning of the flame to yellow to a white tip. So I'm going to make sure that the back of the flames or the tips of the flames get covered good with white in case I run out and don't have enough to cover up the black all the way. So that's the plan. the room or something but it's like to watch I guess guns on. ten people in here we can't see ten people in here you can't see what's up shorty <laughs> oh, 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 oh. okay I just got a text from somebody about my tree I think they say that it's gonna cost me like five hundred dollars to get my tree chop down that's kind of expensive five hundred dollars that's a lot i might just cut it down myself for that much money what do you think five hundred dollars to cut a tree down it's, it's kind of up there yeah that's like about five hundred bucks i think i might just have to rent one of them little lift things and go up there and cut it down myself. I can bring it out to a buddy's place and burn it, so. Yeah, we don't have much white paint. Any words, we'll try to get what we gotta get done with it. I think we, I think we might have enough. bit pricey for a tree cut down yeah and you know this is also a guy that I do a little plowing for you know you think he would hook me up a little bit better so I'll have to remember that because he wants me to give him a price on doing some work on his one of his trucks one of the tree trucks I guess they smashed up the front end need some fiberglass work so I have to remember that. Not, you know, cut them no real big breaks or nothing. You know, I treat, I try to hook people up like they hook me up, you know. They give me a good deal. I try to give them a good deal. So anyway, I'm going to uh, move some of this crap off my table here. We'll get some of this paint sprayed on. Instead of just me yapping my yap. 
yipping my trap. Trap yapping. Do a little paint on this thing here. Let's pull, left this gun over there for a minute. much ready to go. I'll put you over here for a second. Probably put my respirator on too. I'm going to turn my fan on so it might get a little noisy for a minute. Make me a purple one, a purple what? Oh, I'm missing some comments here. Who wants a purple what? Somebody said they want a... Just me asked if I can... Can you make me a purple one? Oh, you want a purple what? Purple mailbox? Some purple flames? I can make it whatever color you want. Yeah. Yeah, with this one we're just doing old school flame job right now. It's going to be yellow, red, and white. And then I might add some other stuff behind or in the background. So let me grab my mask real quick. Get that on. Try not to drop my gun over. I got it sitting on my Camaro. That would suck. Spill paint all over it. That would suck. Safety third. Always wear your respirator when you're spraying paint. Not that I do it all the time, but you should. Like I said, this is not a how-to video. But... You do want to try to protect your lungs as much as possible. Spray some paint, shall we? Just turn the fan on and it sucks my door open. I think it works halfway okay. that like that so we get a little airflow in. And I got a little exhaust fan down here. So hopefully I won't get any overspray in my baby back here. Alright, let's set you down right here for a second. Said something about fish eye and stuff because of that. Lex! See it? Right in there? I don't know. 
าฟาทอนนะครับDown there, happening more down here. I think when I was liking it, I think when I was wiping that off the last time with that rag, I was noticing that I was going over the paper. And I think, see, it's causing me more grief down there. I don't need to see it. But it's kind of reacting a little bit. Uh, I don't need to see it. I'm trying to hold this camera right here. And you can kind of see where it's kind of reacting a little bit. So, hopefully that'll cover up here in a couple more coats. If not, We'll have to uh, sand it down or something. Yeah, I'm thinking that's because I took that wax crayon. I took this wax crayon to go over my tape line so I could see it better. And I think some of this wax got on the rag when I was wiping it off before I went to spray my paint. It's not caught on the car. So yeah. Make sure you don't do that when you're painting. And we'll let that flash off for a minute. It's going to take a minute because it's cold out. Like I said, it's like 42 degrees out in my garage or anywhere else, something like that. So, first coat. Try the. Try to get it in the light so you can see where I'm talking about. It's hard to see, but it's like right there, a little bit up there, a couple spots. How many coats am I going to put on it? However many coats it takes to cover, really. It shouldn't take more than like two, maybe three coats of the white. But if it takes four, then it takes four coats. It all depends on how heavy you put it on. You know, this paint is a little bit thin because I've thinned it out a couple times. So it'll take a coat or two, maybe more, to get it cover all the way. But, uh, sorry about the noise. The air compressor kicking on. Off here in a minute. See, it goes off pretty quick. Yeah, we'll let that flash. I'll show you what I got for air compressor and stuff in my garage while I'm waiting for this to flash off. My old garage, I used to have 220 in my garage, so I had this big air compressor over here going in the corner here. Say, uh, I don't know what the name of the brand is, you know, it's a black one. And, uh, single stage air compressor, 12.3 CFM at 40 and 10.3 CFM at 90 psi, but uh, the pump went out on it, and I don't have T20 out in my garage anyway to run it. So, as you can see, I have a line. Going from that compressor over here up to that little compressor. 
because like I said, I don't have T20 on here. So let me cover it. Give the name off on there because I don't want to get dinged from uh, YouTube or whatever, but it's a uh, air compressor, black one, uh, 155 psi, max pressure. It's a 30 gallon tank. Uh, what is it? I think it's like 1.9 horsepower, running horsepower. So it's like just under a two horse motor. Pushes out 7.0 CFM at 40 PSI and 5.7 CFM at 90 PSI, 120 volts. There's the deal on that. So I've got it coming out of there, and then it runs up and over. And I use my big air compressor. Channel 33 with Spongy is in the house. What's up? Shot five, my man. We're painting the mailbox today. Old school, old school style flame job on a mailbox, my man. That's what's going on today. Just showing off what I got for uh, my air compressor setup deal. I'm using my little air compressor here to fill up my big air compressor that I have over there. Because my big air compressor, if you just join it, my big air compressor over here, pump blew out. And I don't have 220 out here to run it anyway. So, And check out all my cool stickers from all my amazing YouTube friends that I've got a chance to get a sticker from. All great folks. If you haven't checked them out, go check them out. Great people, great people. I've got more of these stickers left if anybody wants a sticker. If anybody wants a sticker, let me know. And if you got stickers, I want one. I'll put you on the, put you on the air compressor back there with everybody else. I got more stickers from people, but they're on my toolbox, which is at a different location. Anyway, I believe our paint is ready for another coat. You want a sticker? Well, PM me, PM me Cooter, your address, and I will get you a sticker sent out in the mail ASAP. I am going with white, red, and yellow. The original old school, old school hot rod flame. I'm just trying to figure out if I want to go red, red here, to yellow, to white, or if I want to go white, to yellow, to red, which I think we're going to go red, to yellow, to white, white tips. That's what I'm thinking. So anyway, I'm going to get another coat on, and then we'll go from there. Oh, I'm no artist, brother. I just try, man. Do what I can, just like everybody else. But I, I appreciate it, man. Thank you. I think we're going to need one more coat. Kind of still see the black through it. Kind of splashy looking. I 
don't see any more spots where it was giving us or giving me crap. Where I had a little bit of the wax crayon deal on it, so that's good. At least I'm, unless I'm looking at the wrong side. Yeah, I think we're looking good on that. So we'll let that flash off and we'll put one more coat on it. And then we will do the, I think what I'm going to probably do is I'll probably do the yellow next and then I'll do the red. I think. I think that's how I'll do it. Keep the white at the tips. Stay off of that, you know what I'm saying? And then I'll be spray. You know, I'll spray my yellow. I'll spray my yellow up to like three quarters of the way up the flame lick. And then I'll stop. And then I'll let that flash off. I'll put some red on it. Bam! Done deal. Done deal. So, over with. Wait for that to flash. Let me read any comments here. Yeah, buddy. Channel 33 with Sponge. Spongy says. Yeah, I need to bust this little baby out later. Uh, bust her out a little later. Do some wheelies. See if I can't. See if I can't hurt myself or something. <laughs> yeah. Also got to play around with my new welder. Well, I don't want to show the name off too much. I'm so. Man, I'm like so scared to show anything right now, man, because like YouTube rules, you know, they don't want you to show names on stuff, I guess, anymore. God, even just trying to do a giveaway for a bowling pin now, I guess it's kind of, you got to make sure you put all the rules and stuff for the giveaway out there and everything. I don't know if you're supposed to put it in the video itself. I just put it in the description. But it's crazy, man. Too many rules. Too many rules and regulations on everything, man. People just want to put some videos out and watch the videos. But anyway, if you're just joining, painting up the mailbox, old school flame style. Just waiting for some paint to dry. Flash off. It's cold out. Way below average right now on our temperature. Actually, you know what? I'm going to shut this fan off so you can hear me talk a little bit. Take this, take this off. For the most part. Should look good when you're done. Yeah, I'm going to add some more stuff to it. Um, if time allows. I'm using automotive paint, so I got like 24 hours with this stuff before I had to put a clear coat on it. So... I almost thought about using my uh, Wicked Colors um, uh, my Wicked Colors that are a waterborne paint because you can spray that and you can come back to it like a week later clear it, do whatever you want and you can keep spraying and stuff like that you don't have to worry about how long you have before you have to clear coat it, which is nice with the water barn paint. So they say, anyway. But, uh, at least with the Wicked Colors, they say there's not really a time limit on it. As with automotive paints, like a base clear paint like I'm using on here, you have, most of the time, you have 24 hours to get it clear coated if you're going to put a clear coat over it. Which is what I'm using here. Urethane paints. Automotive urethane paints. Same stuff you use on a car. So, any words? Yeah, I'll let that flash up a little better. Be back to check the finished piece, man. Right on, spongy. I hope you enjoy your meal. I need to eat something here for too long, too. I might have to do a two-parter on this. Might have to do a two-parter on this, but I think I can get it busted out fairly quick now that we've got all the masking and stuff done on it, so. Yeah, I think I need to blow my nose real quick. I'm going to do that off-camera because I don't think you guys want to watch me blow my snot. Here, I'll let, you look at, I'll let you look at this for a second here. 
I watched the paint dry for a second. Here, I'm gonna... I'll blow my nose. I'll be right back. Sorry, sorry. I don't, hope I don't have no buggies hanging up. I know I don't have no buggies hanging. Fireman one sixty four. You know it's a good thing. I was just talking about you earlier in the live stream. It was good. Don't worry. I wasn't talking bad about you. I was talking about how there's so many great YouTubers out there that do such good work, and I was telling everybody how awesome of a job you were doing on that Camaro. Man. I mean, I've done a lot of, I was telling them I've done a lot of work on a lot of cars. I can't remember ever tearing one down that much to do any work on it, man. You're doing some work on that thing. Thumbs up, buddy. I say two thumbs up, man. Definitely, definitely doing an awesome job on that, man. You make me look bad. Make me look bad. But it's all good, man. You were doing awesome. If you were closer, heck, I might, you know, I got to do something with this Camaro. Started to do a little something, something on it. I was telling people earlier, I don't know why they had a chrome strip way down here. <laughs> you know, I could see having a chrome strip here to keep you from getting door dings, but they had the chrome strip way down there. So I'm in the process of grinding off all the little uh, studs for the chrome strip off the bottom down there because that's not going to stop you from getting a door ding, having chrome strip way at the bottom of the car. I don't know why they would do that, but... No, <laughs> no, he... Gonzo says, no, he wasn't. I told everybody he was like a... Dry erase board remarkable. <laughs> yeah, he's doing a remarkable job on that car. Yours may be close to this color. I don't know what kind of color that color is. I bought it that way. But it's not going to stay that color. It was actually silver. As you can see. I don't know if you can see it here. I don't know where the hell my camera thing comes out of. But it used to be silver under there, and they did a they did a piss poor job of prep work on it. I do know that it's just a single stage paint that they put on here, and uh, I'm gonna go with the base clear, of course, because base clear is better in my opinion. But not that they don't make a good single stage paint. That's what we used to spray all those big rigs and stuff. Is a uh, Dell Fleet paint. And that stuff hardens up pretty dang good. So, missing some comments here. But yeah, man, Mr. Fireman, thanks for stopping in. Definitely appreciate it, man. We're just doing some. Oh, and make sure, Mr. Fireman 164, I think that's you, right? 164, Mr. Fireman 164. I'm doing a giveaway for some bowling pins that I airbrushed some true fire flames on that might just look good in your shop. So if you want to get in on the bowling pin giveaway, you got till Friday, my man, or whoever else is in here watching. Actually, you know what? Let me go grab one. I'm sure you've probably all seen them before, but since I'm waiting for this paint to flash off, I'll grab one, show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you're in already? Right on, right on. I thought you might have got in there. I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure who all was in or not. But I'll grab a pen real quick. Bring it out here in the garage. You guys can scope it out for the people that haven't seen them yet. 
Or maybe I'll just do a quick little showing of them. So we'll just show them off real quick. These are the bowling pins. I'm giving a couple, giving one of these away for anybody that hasn't seen them yet or doesn't know about the giveaway that I'm doing. Even got a little bit of purple passion pearl in there. Yeah, video response video will get you five entries. So. This is just another one that I did, just to, just trying it with a yellow and purple over a, or yellow and green, I should say, over a purple. The Frame Off in Canada won this one, or one like it, for my 500 subscriber giveaway that I did. And then this is just a tank, oh, just a tank that I did, flaked out. Doesn't really sparkle too much in here with the light, but, but yeah, any words, go back out here and spray another coat of white paint on. So, if it ever warms up, I might actually bust out that bike that's all covered up with crap. I maybe have to do some more motorcycle vlog moto vlog videos or something but at least the snow's melted although they are they are calling for more snow I think Wednesday or Thursday winter just doesn't want to quit around here it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but anyway I'm pretty sure this is ready for another coat of paint Ooh, like a claws on a chalkboard there. Oh, sorry, folks. Yeah, I think one more coat of white on here will do it. And then we'll bust out some yellow. And then we'll bust out some red. And we'll unmask it and see how she looks. Yeah, it is crazy on the weather. Crazy. And they talk about global warming. Actually, they don't talk about global anymore global warming anymore it's global change now global change anyway i'm gonna get this paint on here thanks for stopping in mr fireman 164 you rock i'm getting white over spray on my camaro that's not cool not cool Might want to use this once in a while too, like before each time you, yeah. which I did because it's just cool. Just a mailbox I'm messing around. Oh, now I'm out of 
I should have concentrated more on the meds like I said I was gonna. I think we'll be okay though. Alright. Just enough light. Just enough. Gonna have to be enough because it's all I got. <laughs> Guess it's time to go back to the paint store and get some more paint. I always seem to run out of white. I don't know why. Never seem to have enough white laying around. That sucks. I have to go buy some more paint. But anyway. I think we got enough white on those tips. Just one on this side that might be a little iffy, but it's just a mailbox we're messing around with anyway, so. Oh my goodness, what do we got for comments going on here? This way. Yeah. If I would have did like I said I was going to do when I started off spraying that white, cut make sure all my tips of the flames were covered first and then work my way towards the front of the mailbox. I would have definitely had enough. Kind of pushing my luck with that, but I think we'll be good. So anyway, I gotta find some yellow. I think I have some yellow. That's a base base uh base clear paint. Clear paint paint. I think. Surprised my fuse has a blow on my breaker. Normally, if I have like the fan going and my air compressor kicks on with these lights going, it usually kicks the breaker. And then I gotta run in the house, down in the basement, click the breaker. Which I've had that happen to me in the middle of paint with something out here. It'd be like, hey, it's all of a sudden black. And it's like, oh, shit. Try to make your way out of the dark garage and not tip over what you're painting and stuff. That's real cool. Anyway, let me go in here and see if I got some yellow, yellow paint. Yeah, we'll just let that run for a minute. It's probably going to be like a four hour video on airbrushing a mailbox, painting a mailbox. <laughs> do appreciate everybody though that has stopped in to watch my nonsense i definitely appreciate you yes yes i do yeah i got all my paint in the house well, i probably shouldn't say that on here got all my paint stuff in the house i mean i don't have all my paint stuff in the house you, know, just, you, know, you don't want to keep that stuff in your house so let's see oh i got some yellow right here have some yellow right here. Yellow! And it is a base clear. It is a uh, base clear MBC. It's, uh, uh, I don't even know if I say the name of the paint anymore. I get so scared of saying brand names and stuff. But uh, yeah, if you know, if you know the brand of paint, and then you know the colors and stuff and all that good stuff. So anyway, we'll grab some of that because we need yellow out there. And I think we have red out there already from when we painted those ground rims, which you guys did an awesome job on. I think they turned out great. Hopefully that guy will do a video or send me some pictures because he should be getting those tires put back on the bike here anytime. I think he was going to bring those ribs to work today and set them in front of one of their heaters they got. I guess they got some big jumbo heater at work that blows out like 150 degree air or something. So I told him I was like, we should put those ribs in front of that for a couple hours and we'll definitely be cheered up. So that stuff over there is still, still flashing off. So we will get some yellow mixed up in the gun while that's flashing off. Let's 
see it. We're out of white. That kind of sucks. I'm going to need more white for doing some airbrush stuff or any highlights and whatnot. Getting close to 700 horsepower. Woo! What are you pushing 700 horsepower in there? Zeb? Is that how you say it? Zeb? Seb? S E B? 700 horsepower to 4.8. Well, that's quite a bit. 4.8 liter. What's that? What kind of motor is that? Chevy or something? It's a turbo. 4.8 liter turbo. LS motor. Right on, right on. Cool deal. I'm going to clean this gun out of this white here. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about cleaning the white out of here. I'm just going to put some yellow in it, mix it around, and that'll just make it a little bit yellow, a little bit lighter of a yellow. Because for what it is, I'm not going to waste my time. It ain't going to hurt nothing. It ain't going to hurt nothing. So yeah, I'm just going to reduce up some yellow here, throw it in the gun, and we'll be ready to rock. Ooh, yeah, she's, look at this thick stuff. Oh, <laughs> Oh. I'm sitting around for a while. Nope. Don't show the label. Don't show the label. Don't show the brand. Did I show the brand? Did you see it? I don't want to get in trouble for showing the brand on stuff here. Chunky paint, yeah. It's getting better though. Mix it up a little bit. Once I put some reducer to it, it'll be fine. I noticed that with the cheaper paints, they tend to, uh, see, that's not as bad now. But, uh, they tend to, I don't know how to say it, break up, I guess. Chunkier, more break up kind of stuff. Yeah, this video will be up later. It'll probably take a while for it to, uh, for YouTube to go through it to make sure that it's good or whatever. But yeah, it'll be up later. If you want to come back and watch it later, feel free. Don't feel you got to stick around by any means. You're more, more than welcome to come back later. I'm just happy you stopped in to begin with. Urethane reducer. I don't want to tell you the name of it, but if you if you know what color the stuff is and you know what you know what brand it is. I'm just eyeballing this. Reduce it down some. I think I put a little bit more reducer in here than I really needed. Dang it. That's what happens when you just eyeball stuff. You know? Like I said, this is not a how to video. I like watching me work. I had to help the wife with the TV and I was out of the room for a while. I don't think you missed too much there. Whoop. Oh, 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 oh. 
Hold on a second. Oh my goodness, I'm hitting buttons. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, what happened? Um, normal. We just want normal. How do I get this stuff off of the screen here? Okay. If anybody knows how in the heck I've got a little thing that popped up that shows like normal, bubbles, dance party, dream, bunch of different options. How do I get that off of my screen? I must have hit a button. Oh, there we go. So I'm new to this live streaming with my phone. I'm new to the live streaming altogether, so. I guess I got options if I hit that button on how to change stuff around. Looks normal on our Yeah, I just got a... I had something on my phone down here and it popped up a bunch of different things where I guess I can change how the screen looks. So, just wanted to make sure it was all kosher. Alright, we'll get a little bit of this in the gun here. I'll quit boring you with my talking. Do a little spraying instead. Just drop my lid. I drop my lid. I drop your lid. Let's mix it around a little bit because we did have a little bit of excess white in there. So, up a little bit. I'm ready to rock with the next color. So, we will set you here again. Bear with me. Operating with me now. Bear with me, folks. All right. Can I crop you up a little bit more without you falling so you can see a little better. Actually, this could go a few more minutes yet before I could spray this. I see there's still some wet spots on it. How long does it take to paint a bowling pin? Well, the bowling pins that I got, I got used from a bowling alley. So they were kind of beat up. So what I do to get them ready is I'll sand them. Just sand them real quick with some 320 grit sandpaper. You could probably use 220. 220 to 320, somewhere in that area. Sand them down with that. And then I take some spot putty and I fill in any little dents or divots and scratches like that in the bowling pin. And then I prime them. Probably put a good two, three coats of primer on there. I think the last ones I used, I just used a, just a lacquer primer. Just a cheap lacquer primer on it. Let it sit overnight or a few days. You know, if you use a lacquer primer, I suggest letting your project sit for as long as you can for shrinkage factor if you use that stuff but uh, that's how I do it anyway then I sand it down with 400 grit sandpaper and then I might even go over it with a little bit finer sandpaper after that like a five six hundred grit maybe wet sand it over that 400 real quick and then I'm ready to rock and roll so I would say if I was to do a bowling pin just start to finish, you know, it would probably, I could get it done, you know, in a day. But like I said, I let the primer sit for at least overnight, sometimes longer. I'm painting that this weekend too. Be painting the, uh, 
painting that Camaro up there, Tom? Is that what you're talking about? Painting the Camaro this weekend? I believe Tom Noble is doing up a Camaro also, if I had the right person. But yeah, he's doing an awesome job on that too. Oh. Are you doing a video? Let's sleep. Uh, oh, my girlfriend just texted me. Wanting to know what I'm doing. All she got to do is get on YouTube. She's like, oh, that's what he's doing. He's playing in the garage. Mm. Trying to read these comments here. Might be painting that too. Yes, sir. About seven days. Well, good luck with that, man. I hope it turns out awesome for you. <clears throat> I think I think we're good to paint on here though. Alright, I'm gonna throw my mask on. Whoops, whoops, sorry folks, sorry. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Oh, blast your ears with the phone call there. I'll have to call them back. Don't piss her off, dude. <laughs> no, she's used to me playing in the garage and stuff. So, she's good. I'll make it up to her if she's not. Middle of the paint, man. I can't stop now. Camaro gang are getting closer. Close to the finish line. Right on, right on. I got, a long, I got a little ways to go yet of mine to get mine painted up. But I'm also wanting to fix up my 79 Lincoln Continental too. So I'm sure that's going to make uh, getting the Camaro done any quicker. Probably not any quicker. Anyway, let me put my mask on. Get this on here so this video don't take forever to get done. Probably gonna run out of battery life in my phone. I don't even know where to set. But anyway, I'm gonna try to do this without getting without getting much yellow on the tips. So I'm gonna try to spray more at this angle. Spray it this way, away from the tip. You know, kind of angle my gun around a little bit. Try not to get the yellow at the ends. It's the plan anyway. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna turn the fan on. Bear with me, folks. No, I'm not going to bother tag ragging it off because it's just, uh, just a little uh, thing I'm messing around with, so. Oh, see? I messed up already. I got yellow on the tip. Son of a Ain't no fix of that because I'm out of white. I 
So what I'm going to try to do now, being that I screwed up, is I'm going to try to bring the yellow out farther to the tip. You know, so what, what are you going to do? messed up and the one flame lick I was looking at the flame lick above it spraying my yellow I don't have any more white shorty I'm out of white I might be able to I don't know if I can use my uh, waterborne water based paint on this urethane paint you know what I'm saying? I mix the two together without them reacting or something. So, I don't know. We'll see if I got enough white paint that I can put in the airbrush, maybe. I mean, there's still a little bit of white at the tips. But, here's not much. I was think I was spraying this tip up here. Yeah, see, I got a yellow pretty much all the way on that one. So. Oh, well. Is what it is, what it's gonna be tomorrow, as some would say. I think it'll look alright, so we'll make it look good. We'll do what we can. Like I said, I might, being that this is just a uh, practice deal anyway, I might grab some of my white that I use for uh, airbrushing my, excuse me, water based paint. And just hit the tips with that. Probably be okay when it's splashed off, I would imagine. So, anyway, that's all I'm putting on for the yellow. Okay, we did better on this side. I tried to stay, you know. I should have just been more careful, really. Paid attention to what the hell I was doing. You know, I'm trying to do this halfway quick because I've got, wow, three hours into this thing already. Woo! Three hours I've been live streaming this. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so. For all of you that haven't bailed at me yet, let me see who all is left in the house here. Mr. Fireman's still here. Shorty's still here. John, John Sant is in the house. Hello. Best way to deal with the mistake is to make it look intentional. Exactly, exactly. That's what I'm gonna try to do. But yeah, well, uh, I might have some other white laying around me. Yeah, that sucks though. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? 
wife would say, don't stop. <laughs> Keep paying. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let this yellow flash off and turn this fan off so you can hear me guys. I'm gonna get this let this yellow flash off. Which is pretty much flashed off already. So we'll get that out of the gun. Pour some red in it. Like I said, I'm not cleaning my gun out between each deal because I'm just going from a lighter color to a darker color. And I'm not worried about it changing the shade or anything like that. So. Otherwise, I would mix, or uh, not mix, I would clean my gun out. I would clean my gun out before I put the next color in there. But like I said, I'm not really worried about mixing the colors up or anything. Like, I'm just going to pour this paint back in here. Yeah, it's got a little bit of white, a little bit more white in there, but... I'm done using this color for what I was using it for anyway, so... And not that... That little bit of white that got added to it changed it that much anyways. So... Mix up a little red. Ah, get some red in the gun. Yeah, I might have enough. Might have just enough in there to bust it. Bust out the airbrush and whiten them tips up. With some white. It doesn't look like a total failure of a paint job. Oh! see a couple people are leaving that's cool man i appreciate you for stopping in anyways whoever you are that just left i don't know if they said goodbye or not but i appreciate you stopping in trying to chat here tom noble had to leave see you later tom i appreciate you stopping in tom noble Great YouTuber, Tom Noble. Mm, mm, mm. A lot of great YouTubers out there, man. All you that are watching my videos right now, all great YouTubers. <clears throat> if you haven't checked out Etard Adventures, go check him out. I think he's doing a live stream right now, too. I think he said it starts at 9. 9 his time. I think he's an hour ahead of me. I'm not sure what time it is right now. But anyway, we'll get some red on here. And, uh, you know, I don't even know if I'm going to bother fixing those tips with some white. Stunt night. Yeah, this is the red that I use for them Grom, rim, Grom rims. It's a pretty loud red. All right, later, Seb. I think I'm saying it right. Thanks for stopping in, man. Actually, I think I might wipe out some of this yellow into my cup before I put this red in here. Oh. Right on, man. Thanks for stopping in, everybody. Much appreciate you. Just wiping out some of the paint in my gun here. Probably have a glove on because I'm getting it on my arm, my hand, and stuff. Any words? I'll grab a paint stir. I'll throw some red in here. And uh, after I put this red on, I might. I don't know if I'm going to cut this live stream after I get this red on. Get some dinner myself. Call my girlfriend because she tried to get a hold of me. I'm probably wondering why I don't call her back. So. Oh, you know what? Just put that in my gun. I didn't even thin it down any. Didn't even thin it down. I'm glad you didn't catch that one.
Yeah, this is not how you mix the paint. Do not put the paint in there and then add your uh, reducer to it and then swish it around like this. This is, <laughs> as I've said like eight times, this is not a how-to video. Oh, and I got 15% remaining on my battery life. So, we'll see if this is enough paint. We'll see if this is enough paint here. How long did it airbrush? How long did it take to airbrush flames on the bowling pins? They took a lot longer than I thought. Um, the ones that had the true fire flames on them probably took me. Oh Lord! Probably took me. I would say I did two of them, and I would say that it probably took me. Probably half a day, probably do those two bowling pins from start to finish. Maybe even longer. I didn't really pay attention to how long it took. But there's like 13 different steps, uh, processes that you have to go through when you do the real fire flame. They have like the orange and the yellows because you have, you start out with a, just a red you do you do your red, then you spray a candy apple red over that, then you go to a yellow, and then you spray your candy, uh, your candy color over that, and then you know there's just a lot, a lot, a lot of steps to it. It takes a long time. I mean, I, I'm sure it would go quicker for somebody that's done them, you know, a lot of times. But me, I've only done the. Tr uh, real fire true fire flames with the actual paint that you're supposed to use uh, a couple times so I did the bowling pins I think I did the bowling pins first and then I did my buddy's guitar that I did the true fire flame on so I've only done them with the actual paint that you're supposed to use a couple two three times so the other bowling pin that I did, the purple with the green and yellow flames. I don't think that one took me as long, but yeah, it's it takes a long time, man. People think you just sand it, mask it, and shoot it, but you know, especially if you're new to it, you know, and you're not used to exactly how everything goes with it. It takes you longer, so to be expected, but. Any words, let's get some red shot on here. See if we can't mess this thing up some more. And uh, let's try not to cover up all the yellow with red this time, Matt. Okay. Okay. Three hours into this live stream to do this. Oh my goodness. See, so, yeah, this might be a two parter, folks. I think I might get this red on here. And uh, I might call it a show for uh, for this evening. And they look good. I hear brush practice, practice, practice. Yep, I need to practice more because uh, I got a long, long ways to go. But anyway, I'm going to quit babbling. That's probably why this video has been three hours long. Because I don't shut my mouth. But anyway, let's grab the gun. Turn the fan on. Get a little bit of red on. And then I'll... Do a little uh, showing of it, and then maybe I'll bring it back later. I don't know if I'll come back later this evening and work on this some more, or if I'll just do another live stream tomorrow and finish it up. But anyway, let's get this red on here.
Pretty much it. Pretty much it. with some white and just hit them tips just a little bit with some white with the airbrush baby maybe I don't know I might just leave it the way it is we'll see Yeah, that's pretty much it. Shorty says thumbs up. Right on, right on. But yeah, I think I'm, uh, step outside for a second. I like to hear myself. Let's see if it's getting dark yet. How long have I been in the garage? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's almost dark time. Boy, that fan works good. It sucks my door right open. Yeah. Sun's going down. Yeah, I'm going to show you this tree I got an estimate on today. $500 they want to cut this tree down. Let me show you. Let me show you the tree. How long before I untape it? I could untape it pretty much as soon as it's dry. Probably half an hour I could un unmask it. Start a... Uh, doing whatever else I wanted to do on it. Yeah, this tree right here behind me. They want $500 to cut this tree down. $500 to cut that thing down. I mean, granted... Granted, it's no small tree, but damn, 500 bucks. 500 bucks. That's a lot of money. Chainsaw and a pickup. That's what I'm talking about. Chainsaw, a pickup, a freaking 12 pack of beer, and some pizza, and some buddies. That's what I'm saying. A big bonfire afterward. Do you need permits to cut trees down? I don't think so. I've never pulled a permit to cut a tree down. I don't think you need a permit around here for tree uh, taking trees down. You need a permit for dang near anything else around here. If you do any roofing, you need a permit. If you build any fences, 
like I did over here, you need a permit. If you add on to the garage, you need a permit. I don't think you need a permit if you build a shed, like the one back here. I think you can build up to a 10 foot by 10 foot shed. I don't think you need a permit for that, but they get you for dang near anything else they can think of to get a permit for it because, you know, the greed, the greed of the city I live in. I don't need, I think before, if I remember right, when I had my roofing company going, I don't even think you needed to pull permits for doing like little repairs on a roof. But I think you do now. I don't think you can really do any roofing without pulling a permit. <laughs> it's cold. It is so cold up here, man. We're supposed to be at like 60 degrees for our average high. Oh, I'm not gonna hurt myself. We're supposed to be at like 60 degrees for our average high. I think we've barely made it into the 40s today, like 40, lower 40s, I think, today. But anyway, that's what the mailbox is looking like. I might come back with some white. I might not. I might just leave it like that. Because I do plan on doing some other stuff to the mailbox after, after I unmask it. I might come back and back mask all these flames that I put down might back mask all these flames off and then add a bunch of other stuff to it I don't know we'll see I've only got 24 hours with this urethane paint before I had to put a, some kind of a clear coat on it either a inner coat clear or a clear that has hardener in it so We'll see. We'll see where I get with it. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let me know what you think of the videos. Um, definitely appreciate every single one of you that stop in and watch my goofy butt do anything because, man, I'm just a nobody, man. Just a regular old Joe like everybody else out there trying to, you know, just mess around, make a video and stuff like that. So. Yeah, appreciate the big namers that came in tonight, man. I had a uh, little doggy came in. He's he's a pretty big guy up there. Oh, my battery's going. My battery's going. So I don't want this to just cut out without saying goodbye to everybody. So um, let me see who all's left in here. Gonzo, thanks for stopping in. I want to say goodbye to you, Shorty. Later, thanks for stopping in. Uh, Cooter, thanks for stopping in. Uh, who else is in here? Shorty Gonzo. I think that's everybody. I hope I didn't miss anybody here. So I think Zeb already left. Chopper's Rules. Little Doggy. Everybody that stopped in. Um, Spongy. Everybody. Thanks for stopping in. We will get back on this. Back on that. We'll, maybe we'll do a unmasking video on this. And uh, do a part two. We'll make a part two to this little mailbox painting video. So, I did not think it was going to be a three and a half hour deal to paint this mailbox. And I'm not even done yet. <laughs> three and a half hours. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Actually, I might just spray a little bit more red just to darken that up a little bit more. But actually, I think it's pretty good. No, I'm not. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm leaving it like that. I'm done. I'm done with it. Anyway, I'm going to cut this live stream here. If anybody that's just coming in, uh, sorry. <laughs> you missed it. You can come back after the... Uh, after they uh, do whatever they do with YouTube, after you do a live stream, it'll probably take an hour or so for them to get this thing up and running. But uh, thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for the 16 thumbs up. That's like crazy. 
I don't think I've got 16 thumbs up on any videos, let alone live stream. So, anyway, I'm going to clean my gun out. You guys don't need to watch me do that. It's kind of boring. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I might bring you back here a little bit later after I get some food in me. I might jump back on. If I don't jump back on tonight, I will jump on tomorrow. And uh, I'll try to set it up so you guys know what time I'm going to start. A lot of times I'll just start these things and people are like, Wow, I didn't even know you were doing a live stream. So I'm going to try to let you folks know ahead of time. And uh, thanks for stopping. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Everybody. Uh, yeah. I appreciate every single one of you. You guys are the ones that give me the motivation to hit the record button. But sometimes, man, I just slack and I don't want to do nothing. So, I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. And we will see you on the next video. Take care, Cooter. And uh, who else was in here? I know I'm saying this again here. Cooter, Shorty, Gonzo, everybody. I'm going to end this thing here because my battery's got 6% left and it could die at any time now. So, Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate it. Peace out.